always been a, a passion of mine and a dream of mine to take this piece of, of Africa and to reintroduce the wildlife that always used to be here. And, you know, I was, I was being very fortunate to be able to, to live that dream. My name is, is Ant Baber. I'm the owner of Ant Africa Safaris, and we have two lodges here in the Waterberg on our reserve, Ants Hill and Ants Nest. The one side of my, my family, they were some one of the earliest um, pioneers here in the Waterberg. They settled here in 1886. And during the, the Boer War, uh, my great-grandmother met my uh, great-grandfather. He was a soldier that came out when they discovered gold in Rhodesia in 1870. Their daughter married my grandfather, who was a, an Australian soldier. And the next generation being my, my dad, you know, he was a, a cattle rancher, um, passionate about the land, passionate about conservation, you know, and I learned a huge amount from him. And he was a big enough man to, to let me live my dream and take this piece of, of, of the sort of family property and get rid of the cattle and reintroduce the wildlife that always used to be here. I came back home from my time at university and the army in, at the beginning of 1993 and we started introducing the first wildlife animals that always used to be here in 2003 and we've over the years we've reintroduced all the different species apart from elephant and lion but rhino, sable, roan antelope, buffalo so I've been very fortunate to be able to have been following my dream since I was a boy of 12. How's this morning been today Ant? Yeah, it's been good. Yeah? Everything's gone like clockwork. No one's fallen off a horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's taking this little piece of Africa and taking it back to what it was and then sharing that experience and our love and passion for the land by means of, of taking guests out on horseback where they can be, you know, when you're on a horse in the environment, you're actually part of the whole experience. Where Ants Nest sits in a bowl of hills, and it's very sort of secluded from the rest of the world, Ants Hill um, sits on top of a ridge with a beautiful view looking out towards the, the west. The same piece of land is sustaining a massive biodiversity, but it's also employing people, you know, in tourism as be they chefs or housekeepers or guides or anti-poaching guys. It, you know the. The whole land use is, is totally sustainable and it's, it's far more productive than just, you know, the utilisation of just cattle ranching. No, I would say, like I said, if you want to have an adventure, if you want to come and have a, an amazing time and, um, and be part of the, the Ants family, if you, you come as a guest and you leave as a friend, so, and, and I think that's, that's an amazing thing to do. So, and the fact is, if you travel with somebody, if you travel alone, you know, everybody that is at the lodge become really good friends as well. So we cater for basically for everybody from families with small kids, also for dietary requirements, people that's vegan, gluten free. Uh, all sorts of uh, dietaries. During summer times, the guests get the opportunity to ride with the horses up to the dam and then they can enjoy the bush lunch. Yeah, we also do the sundowners in the evening, but also at different places in the reserve. Ant Collection is a, it's a brilliant place to work in because here everybody is like a family. So for me, Ant Collection is about bringing the families Hence we call our, we don't call them clients because that's not how we feel. We call them guests because they are welcome and come into our home. We don't only do only horses, we do even game drives. So even if you are not a, a rider, you are a beginner or intermediate, you are always welcome if you don't want to do horse riding. We do astronomies here. In the morning you can do running. I wish I could do that, but uh, if I have to do it, I'll come with the horse. <laughs> and, 
uh, yeah, so, th so those are the things that makes this place like a complete uh, product for me. Hence, um, um, I like this place, yes. It had always been a, a passion of mine, a dream of mine to take this piece of, of Africa and to reintroduce the wildlife that always used to be here. And you know, I was I've been very fortunate to be able to, to live that dream. Yeah.